everybody welcome back I am back guys your girl is back how are you all doing I am so glad to be back here on the channel I hope you guys miss me I certainly missed all of you and it was a break that I needed it was the break that I did not know I needed until my body told me I needed it you know guys I have been going through a lot over the last year and I think I did not give myself enough time to properly grieve my dad and I think I kept trying to show up here and to keep rolling out content and I think that was my way of dealing with it without actually dealing with it without having to really sit with myself and allow myself to feel what I was feeling so I really needed to shut down so that's what this time has done for me and I'm glad I did it I'm glad I did it I was a little bit concerned really about being absent on the channel because of the way YouTube does with the algorithms but at the end of the day at the end of the day I have to take care of me so that's what I made that's the decision that I made to do so yeah I'm back so today I am starting with new fresh content I'm thinking that the way that I'm describing this part of my life, this stage of my life, as if I'm starting this channel over because I'm going to deal with some topics that are a little bit different from what I've dealt with in the past. I think I may have skimmed on these topics just a little bit, but not actually delving into them. So today we're going to be talking about why I choose celibacy at this stage of my life being middle-aged and why I think that a lot of women should do that. Now hear me out. Don't attack me, please. Don't attack me. There are reasons for this. And let me say this off the top. This is just my disclaimer. When I give my thoughts and my suggestions or my ideas about things, it's not for you to say, I'm saying I'm 100% right and these are the ways that you should do but what I'm saying is these are the things that help me in my life and to be better for myself. So, with that being said, keep watching if you're interested. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back. I'm very excited about being back and getting started again with content. I am not going to overwhelm myself this time with trying to put multiple videos up. With me having a podcast now, I'm going to be doing one video a week and one podcast a week. So that is going to be the way that I upload. That way it gives me an opportunity to bring you content that will be something of value, something that hopefully will inspire you or encourage you in some way. And not saying that my other content was not. I feel like I've always had good content, but I think I was uploading content that was not of interest to the majority of people who come through my channel. I do know that the majority of the people who view my channel are not subscribers and therefore I'm okay with that because whoever views the channel I want them to feel that they came through and they got something out of it even if it was something as simple as entertainment so today I will be sharing my thoughts on celibacy and why I have chosen that for me in my life at this stage of life and why I feel that more women who are where I am should choose this now we're not talking about married women so let's just state that up front because knowing that you're married comes with you know certain intimacies in your relationship so we're not talking about that we're talking about women who have chosen singleness or women who were single by no fault of their own they could have been married and their spouses are now deceased or they could have broken up after a long marriage or it could be women who just been navigating single life for such a long time could not find the right partner and because they have gotten to this stage of life they have chosen to have single a single life you know what's once upon a time people talked about single being single as if it was something that meant you were damaged in some way or you are jinxed in some way or bad in some way because you weren't with the partner it's just the fact that now a lot of people are choosing that life because of not being able to find a partner that complements their life. That doesn't make it bad. It's just because sometimes I think you can get to a certain age of life where it's hard to find partners that 
match up with you and your lifestyle. And that's speaking on man's behalf as well. I, I think at this stage of life, it's really hard unless you want to choose to do something that's out the norm, maybe dating older or dating younger, choosing a partner older or one that's younger. And I think a lot of people are just choosing their lives because they're comfortable where they are in their lives. This is not about women who are damaged or broken from me and this is about mature women who are they're self-supporting self-sufficient comfortable happy thriving but choosing to live their life this way so that's what we're talking about every woman that's single is not damaged every woman that's single is not broken every woman that's single does not need a man to support her um they are just living their lives and trying to make the best and be the happiest that they can be at this stage. And one of the reasons why I chose to live a life of celibacy, it started off with my spiritual life because I do feel that intimacy should be shared with a partner that um, you are with, you are married to. And that's the way I've always been raised. That's the way I've always believed. Although a lot of people do believe that, but intimacy does take place outside of marriage. We do know that. We're not going to even delve into that. That's not what this is about. This is about why now at middle age, I have chosen to live my life this way. You know, you meet people, you find them interesting enough that you decide to date them in some way or have a social life, whatever you want to call what you do at this age, because it's kind of hard to say I'm, you know, over 50 years old, over 55 and 60 years old, and I got a boyfriend. Most people have a partner. Um, they're in a relationship or they're simply dating, meaning they have social interactions with the opposite sex. And a lot of women have chosen to just enjoy that type of lifestyle because being intimate is such a spiritual connection and that is not to be shared with everyone and everybody even if you enjoy the company of a person we do know that there are things that can happen within that connection there are soul ties we had a video about that some uh maybe a little earlier this year maybe about a year ago we talked about that done a podcast about that so you're creating these soul ties with people that you have no intentions of having a soul connection with and a lot of people are deciding to to detox themselves and to feel whole. And um, this year I'm gonna share a lot of ways to connect with yourself on a spiritual level and to find happiness from inward because there is so much outside interferences in life that can interrupt that peaceful lifestyle that you're trying to create where you can be happy in your singleness and people will throw negativity to you for choosing that and make you feel that maybe it's you maybe you're not um, good enough or that a man don't, wouldn't want you because of certain things and, and it could not be any of those things at all it could be the fact that you have found a way to find happiness in your life and I've dated a lot and I'm single by choice it's not because there's not a man that want me uh, I have had marriage proposals within the last year but I chose chose guys to walk this path the way that I'm walking it and it's my personal choice I have built a life that I and I understand and that I don't want to have to change that way of living in order to accommodate someone else in my life you know it's it will be easier, easy if you could find someone that understands you on the level that you are and that can step into that life and not try to change it, not try to make you be what they want you to be, but accept you totally the way that you are. And this is not about compromising on those types of things. It's that I have found a way that I want to live my life and, and I don't expect people to you know, conform to that life unless that's something that they want to do. So when I, I found this piece, I said to myself, you know, it would be nice to share a partner, have a partner to share this life with, but sometimes it's just not feasible to believe that a person can enter this space and 
walk it in the same way that you you walk it. So therefore, I had to find a way to be happy with me in the skin that I'm in. And when I say I'm happy, guys, I'm not exaggerating that or lying about that. I have a very healthy social life. I have people of the opposite sex, men, who I can call up and say, hey, what you doing tonight? Let's go have dinner. Let's go have a couple cocktails. Let's take a trip. I definitely have people in my life that I can, can do those things with. But to share my intimate space with, it takes a deeper connection for me. And so I had to find a way to be happy in my space. And I do like the fact that I don't have to um, argue with people about who I am and how I choose to live and the way that I eat or the way that I dress or the things that I enjoy doing for my entertainment. I, I love that. I love having that peaceful atmosphere of coming home and not being upset because things are chaotic or dealing with drama from, you know, people in our lives that <laughs> could be family from either side. Because I don't expect any person, you know, that I'm involved with to deal with the drama of my family either. So this goes both ways. But I think women are finding happiness in finding purpose in their lives, having a meaning for what you do in life, getting out here and finding ways to to make life better, not just for yourself, but for others. People are pouring themselves into giving to the world and society and helping make this place better. Somebody need to care about that. The place that we live, this earth that we live on, that we destroying, we can see it by the way that the climate is changing. Somebody needs to care about that. Care about the animals and, you know, just everything that this world is built up of the world that we live on this planet that we walk upon every day so some people are getting out here and finding meaning in that some people are finding passion and career choices and um, hobbies that they have and traveling which I want to do um, living nomadic lifestyles where they can move about and not settle in one place I've heard that people have lost their lives doing what they love and that's what people are finding meaning in and finding friends and a group of people and tribes and villages of people who love the same things they love and being happy with that. So life is not just built around having a partner. If that's what you choose, if that's what you want for your life, that works for you. But we need to stop judging people who choose to do something different. And being celibate for me gave me its a chance to get to know me and my fears and why I felt the need to have to be connected to someone and oftentimes being in those relationships and not even enjoying the intimacy but because when I was younger I felt that I just had to have a partner I put myself through unhappiness in relationships sex in order to say I had a man in my life and that wasn't even something I enjoyed but we have this need to just be tied and connected to someone else is it because you want that or is it because that's what society has taught you that you should be I think everyone woman man person should have the right to choose the life they want for themselves and if you have beautiful friends that that you can share your life with, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be an intimate relationship. That doesn't make you anything else outside of heterosexual because you choose a singleness where you can thrive. I've thrived the most since I've been single. I didn't thrive when I had partners. Not like I do now. So I'm not saying that my life is never going to ever be where I have a partner, but I choose celibacy because it created in me that wholeness that I wanted to be able to self-love, to be able to build my strength up and my confidence up, to be able to live my life in a way that will help me to find out who I am and to be able to share that with women around the world, 
to be a better mother to my daughters and, and to be able to set a better example for my son of what he should want in a woman. That's why I choose this path. And not feel uh, like I'm being love bombed and trauma bonded to someone who's not loving me in the way that I deserve to be loved. So a lot of women are choosing singleness just because they want to be single and to be able to pursue those things that they enjoy, to find out more about themselves and what they really like and to find out why they are the way they are, what about their life and their childhood and the environment that they grew in, grow, grew up in, made them who they are and learn to respect who you are. And if there's any traumas that you have from your past, how to overcome those things so that you can use those to be better. And not to drag that ball with you forever. Not live in the past. Not, not be fearful of the skeletons that fall out of your closet because of choices that you made in the past. Being proud of the woman you have become. That's why I choose celibacy in my adult life being over 50 years old, being old, being middle age, and wanting to feel happy and pure in my steps upon this earth, yeah. That's why I choose it, and I'm good with that. I'm good with what people think about me. Uh, I, no, nobody knows me. Nobody knows you better than you. They can have thoughts of who you are, they can judge you, but no one knows you better than you. So ladies, I just want to share my story and I hope that you will think about where you are and stop feeling so desperate to be connected to someone because I feel like when you decide to be with someone, it's not going to be because you feel desperate. It's because that person has come into your life and you feel like that is the person that you want to walk your path with. I think when we learn how to love ourselves and be happy with us in our skin, we won't feel so desperate to choose whatever comes our way and be happy with you and where you are right now. I think that's important. So thank you all for viewing today. I am back, guys, having some wine tonight, relaxing, getting ready for this weekend. I hope that you guys are ready for the content that is coming. It may or may not make some people happy because it may chastise people or convict people in a way that they've never been convicted because we know there's a lot of people out there that's living in a way that they're not happy with. And it's time for you to take a step back and look at your life and figure out where you need to be. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you for coming through. Don't leave without subscribing or checking out the channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, viewer, one of my ride or dies that I have had the pleasure of being with all these years, thank you for returning. And I will see you all in the next video. Know that I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.